You've come today to make merit. You have to remember merit is a quality of happiness in the mind that comes from doing good. The good things we do to make merit are three. There's being generous, observing the precepts, and then meditating. These are called bun giliya watu. Bun is merit. It's another word for doing for goodness, basically. And then giliya is the activity, and then watu is the object. In this case, the object is the breath. When the breath comes in, the breath goes out. You stay right here. And the giliya is our activity of staying with the breath. And then the bun, the bunya, the merit, that's the quality of mind we bring to it. Because we already do have some merit. We have the merit of our generosity, the merit of our, our virtue. And then you try to apply that merit. Or as that John Fung once said, he said, you invest your merit to get higher returns. So you think of the goodness you're doing. And that gives you a good place for the mind to settle down. And then you try to stay right here. Because when you've made merit, you want a good place to keep the merit. And what better place than the mind? The problem is the mind is like a set of clothes that has pockets. There are lots of holes in the pockets. In other words, our minds go out to the sights we see and sounds we hear and smells we smell and tastes we taste, tactile sensations that we touch. It doesn't keep much inside. But when you meditate, it's like sewing the pockets. Then you can keep the merit in there, and it's not going to go leaking out anywhere. Whenever you need it, in other words, whenever there are times when you feel down about yourself or down about your life, you can think about the good you've done. And that buoys you up, lifts you up. Someone once came to visit a John Fung for the very first time, and he asked him, where have you been making merit? And the one listed on a number of different monasteries, he said, haven't you made merit in your mind? Haven't you made merit in your heart? This is where the merit really belongs. Because what you do outside, that's just the giriya, that's just the activity. And it's a good activity. But the bunya, the goodness, that's the quality that stays in the mind. And the more you sew up the pockets of the mind, the longer it'll stay. In other words, you develop more mindfulness, and the more mindful you are, the more you're able to keep these things in mind and bring them out when you need them. As for any thoughts that get you depressed, that get you down, you can put them aside. You can remember that, too. You don't have to stay stewing in unha unhappy thoughts. Think of the happiness or the goodness you've done. Then when you want to dedicate it to somebody else, okay, it's, that's plenty right there. It's like having a tank full of water. When you turn open the faucet, cool water comes out. If the tank is empty, nothing comes out but air. And even though the air may be cool, it still doesn't refresh you the same way that water does. So think of the mind as a good place to keep your merit and make sure it doesn't go leaking out. And develop the mindfulness and the concentration so that you can keep these things in mind and have them at your hand anytime you need them.